Another year. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> well, they lost the negative with the vendor. They have no idea. But my only point is this. <laughs> you know, we're going to punch this. Are you ready? Because I'm going to win Most of us aren't. And I'm just joking. I'm not. But this is not real. I'm not ready. I'm going to win this. It's not about just giving your heart to Christ. When you say the sinner's prayer, it means you're saved. But that's only the beginning. Jesus said in Revelations, He who overcomes with me, just as I overcame, be seated with me. There's a lot to unpack in that passage of scripture. Just giving your life to Christ means you're saved. And let me just say this, I've been to heaven many times. There's many places in heaven. This whole life for us, spiritual life, is to dictate where we would be in heaven. Uh, if you didn't learn the word of God on this end of the deal, you will have to learn it on the next slide. Friends of mine have seen or named loved the ones that have passed on. Angels teaching him the word of God. So let's learn it on this side. Very important. See on that. This was a very important. Yeah, yeah. I was born and raised in San Antonio, Texas. My mom was a San Antonio, Texas, Texas. My uh, my mom was a race car driver, auto mechanic back in the '60s. Your mom? Yeah. You know, we were actually we do we do we do see that the auto guy, yeah, she's someone who can make money with this. She's a strong woman. For the world, for your man. And my dad left when I was eight or nine years old. So we lived a very difficult life. Because my mom didn't make much money. And one night she got thrown in jail. And she never came home. We were all by ourselves. We didn't know what happened. A couple days later she comes home. We were good, strong Roman Catholics. But she said when she was in jail, someone introduced her to Jesus. So she came home and led us to the Lord. That's when I believe I got saved. But how many of you know here, there's a difference between salvation and becoming a disciple. Yeah, you drink some of that. Huge difference. Sort of why? When you're a disciple, who's a junior? Your life is no longer yours. Sinuero, eolenosis, sinoma. Your money, sinora. Your time, sinoai. And your life, sinuero, is no longer yours. Eolenam, sinoma. That's a disciple. Say on junior tunus. When I was 19, I gave my heart to Christ. I mean, I mean, I became a dead disciple. I had an encounter with God. And I said, Lord, I'll serve you 110% the rest of my life. So I was moving to a new city to plant a church. I planted three churches in my lifetime. So me and my friend and his wife and I, I was single. Went to the city and started this church. And I asked my friend, will I ever get married? I'm a young single guy. And he made this comment. He was joking. He said, find the one you like, lead her to Christ and marry her. So I went to the health club and went, okay. Okay. <laughs> but I was working at a health club. And I saw this girl. And I asked her out. She said, okay. So, 
I got up the courage again. She's my vocals in your Stella. And uh, I said, I would like to go out with you. She said, let me ask you a few questions. What are your goals in life? She's expecting to hear, I'm going to be a mother. I'm going to be a She's expecting to hear, I'm going to be a multi-millionaire. I'm going to be a Run all these businesses. Nice big house and cars. But I said this. I want to be all the man that God created me to be. Nothing else. So will you go out with me? She said, nope. <laughs> okay. 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 She finally said yes. I don't know why. I don't fix. But we went out. And uh, I asked her if she would marry me. I don't know why she said yes. Because she was in love with me. I don't know why she said yes. But she said this. You're not going to change me into your religion. I'm Catholic. I said, okay, you can die being Catholic. Okay, sure, I'm Catholic. That doesn't bother me. Mean say, hey, the only thing I'm concerned about I don't care if been doing that. is your relationship to Jesus. Amen? Amen. She said, okay. This good. Everybody cursed my marriage. Great ladies in the My mom, pastors, friends. Why do you think they cursed it? What's the Bible say? The Bible say? Don't be unequally yoked. But I didn't believe him. I just. I didn't care. Six months later, we got married. Now I have three children, two grandkids, seven and eight years, and we've been married 31 years. Oh. 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 It's amazing story. It's an amazing story. I still ask her. Why do you wish you guest? Why did you say yes? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> so I passed through these three churches. And I'm just shortening my story to get to the teaching. But about 1996 or 7, I was frustrated with church. Let me just say, I was bored with church. And I was the pastor. You mean actually pastor? Right? I just didn't like it. I would preach a message. People tell me, great message, pastor. But it didn't change their lives. I said, Lord, I want to see in my church what I see in here. And what I read about. So I'm a little bit different. Most people pray. But I go after God. Until he answers my prayer. So I did a 40 day water fast. And if you've ever done a 40 day water fast. It was a land in the was a That's hard. Lost a lot of weight. So after the fast, I was pastor. I was praying. And the thought occurred to me. Yeah. Look up on the web what John Paul Jackson's doing. John Paul Jackson. I knew of him. As a prophet. But this is a prophet. But I never followed him. So he was teaching these classes called the Art of Hearing God. And the Lord impressed me to order the teaching. But the price was $350. I was like, who does this guy think he is? That's a lot of money. And Lord, why do I need to learn how to hear you? I'm already hearing you tell me to order this course. Why do I need to take it? I order the course. I said, okay, I'll order the course. So I ordered the course. And I was like, I'm going to be a 
So I ordered the course. But they please send it. And the title, yeah, be on the duty, is really not really what the course is all about. Yeah, but they say we say we're supposed to do that. It was really dealing with all my character flaws. Se kuidagi muudi tegeles kõigi minu iseloom pigadega. All of the things that keep me from hearing God. Kõike nende asjadega, mis hoiavad mind eemal, et ma ei kuuleks juba lähe. And on many occasions, my wife would come home. Minu näine tuli koju. And I'd be in my office just weeping. Ja leidis mind kontorist, kodukontorist tuntmas. She was like, what's wrong? Tuist, mis vind on? Like God is just breaking me. He's showing all the the character issues. The night the whole of Minu is a room of bias. And I didn't realize it. And I was just broken before the Lord. And so I was fascinated with John Paul. And I was just I was fascinated with John Paul. And I was just fascinated with John Paul. John Paul Jackson Davis does. And so the next class he teaches is called Understanding Dreams and Visions. Yeah, the question of the question is, most is negative, yeah, negative. The problem is, problem. I can only remember two dreams in my lifetime. Ma mul oli meile seal kaks suurenevu, mis ma olin terve elu jooksul näinud. And I'm 36 years old at the time. Sel ajal ma olin 37 aastane. And if you asked me and gave me a dream and asked me to interpret it. Ja kui sel ajal sa oleks halunud mulle mingi une näo, ütlen, kuule, tõlgi sa ära või sedeta sa ära. I would have said, did you drink too much alcohol last night? Mis võiks ütlen, et kuule, sa vist panid natuke tida ilja õhtul või eks sa süks suurenevu näe? Or did you eat a pizza or something? Ja ei sõi pizza, tiiga ilja õhtul. I don't know what the heck that means. Ma ei tea, mis sinu me nagu tähendab. But I go to the class anyway. I go to the class in the class anyway. And all of a sudden, I get John Paul starts teaching on this. John Paul checks on the question of And he opens up the scripture with Anton opened up. Job chapter 33, verse 14 through 17. Job 33, verse 14 through 17. Says God speaks one way. You are right, meet me this year. Yet another way. Meet me this year. The man does not perceive him. Kuid inimene ei pane seda tähenda. So basically that's saying this. Mida ta peaks et ütlema on see. How many of you find it difficult? Kui põnud teist teie oli see raske. To hear God's still small voice. Kuulata Jumala vaikselt näe. Tõstu oma kesimus on õustus sellega, et seda ei ole väga lihtne kuul. It's the most difficult. See on väga raske. Isn't it? Kas pole nii? We all wrestle with it. Me kõik heitame sellega. It's like. It's like God's God's voice comes like this, like a butterfly. So now we live in this place, you want to have, and it comes and it lands on your shoulder. Yeah, I'm not too sure about it. If you don't pay attention, then it lives on. You should pay attention when you see the light burning, because it's a two-sided light burning. And so God's still small voice is difficult. Then you want to see the light burning because we live in this realm. On a rusty wood, this is made of a sea fire. And we have all these other competing voices. The green and the tinted hand is a mere mere waste of a silly. So when the voice comes, we're trying to say, which one is it? Then we make sure the hand and make it new. We should not make it the other one. Is it the enemy? Is it my imagination? Is it my emotions? Is it my emotions? Is it my joy? So God loves us so much, and He understands the issue that we as mankind would wrestle with. You must have said that we never made any of the things that we did. Because once we chose, so do you think we chose to sin? Or once Adam and Eve chose, we did go all the way back. What's the sin? To eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Sin is sinless. Here I am, who did not make us. We decided to be ruled by. So is any man who chose to sin? Or the one who did not do it? What we think. Sellele minna me mõtleme, what we want, minna me ei tahame, and what we feel. Ja minna me ei tunneme. That's your soul. See on meie hinge. Your mind, your will, your emotions, your emotions. We no longer chose to be ruled by what he thinks, what he wants, and what he feels. Selle hetkel otsustas olla mitte valitsenud selle kord, mida Jumal taha, mida Jumal suurib meie jaoks. And so this whole process he understood. Nii et kogu see asi, see protsess, that God speaks one way, yet another way. Mõistas, et Jumal räägib ühel viisil, siis teisel viisil. Yet man does not perceive him. Aga inimene ei pane seda teha. So he says, nõnda seda võõtakse, when men lay their head on the pillow, kui inimene pane mu pea maidele, then he opens up the ear of man and he speaks to him in a dream or a vision. Et siis ta avab tema kõrva ja räägib tema lõisest nägemuses. I don't see it saying there, ma ei näe, et ta ütleb seal, when the apostle lays his head on the pillow, when the pastor lays his head on the pillow, when the prophet lays his head on the pillow, 
He says when mankind to the good are you part of mankind? Or let's use our any mistake. So he's speaking to you right there in scripture. He showed you on a night on Sunday. God is speaking. To you. When you sleep at night. How can we don't know? I'm going to speak to the stuff. I'll get into that later. <laughs> So here I am taking this course. It's simple and more. What piece of the course is still there? And I go home and repent. And I'm going to repent, but I'm not. Lord Jesus, forgive me. He said, Jesus, I'm not going to mix. Please forgive me for not valuing one of the ways that you speak. I'm going to mix it by your back to start to sit VC. So I'm going to be going to my life right to dreams. And I'm going to have the value and pull the middle of the week. Let me just say this. Let's put it in that. If I didn't have my good friend here interpreting for me, you spoke uh, Estonian, and I spoke English. How much effect would we have on one another? We would just sit here and smile at each other. Maybe you know a few words, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah, English. <laughs> Maybe you know a few words, hallelujah. Because you don't understand English. I don't understand Estonian. So, when God speaks to us at night, it is the language of the Spirit. How many of you speak the language of the Spirit? Not speaking in tongues. Because you don't understand what you're speaking. I'm talking about symbolism, metaphors. The whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation. God spoke in metaphors and parables. So I understood that. So I started having to train. Christians are the only group of people that don't study their gift. You listen to a man or a woman who have studied their gift and release information to you. Yeah, so we need that. I'm not discounting that. My lawyers are some But if you look at lawyers, teachers, musicians, doctors, in order to be paid a good wage in that profession and to get hired you have to know that profession so people study to go to university they go to school they go to university and then if they want to get a higher degree they get a master's degree Christians are the only group of people who don't study the gift. And therefore, we sit there in our seats and we have no understanding. What if I told you God spoke this specific language? What would you do? You would learn the language. Whatever language he spoke, you would learn. And you try to become fluent in that language. Right? Yes. Because you want to communicate to your creator. So that's what I did. I understood it was a language. And so John Paul was, I was pastoring the church in Chicago. He was coming through the town. I still didn't know how to interpret dreams. It wasn't really that good yet. I just took the class. And I just repented. 
oli meele tagastus läbi ning. So I called the office of trades. Ma siis helistasin selle teenistuse kontorisse. John Paul's coming to a close church to where I close to where I live. Kuusin, et Bolson Section tuleb sinna kogudusse või lähedale sinna, kus ma elasin. I said, can I get five minutes with him? He said, can I get five minutes with him? He said, who are you? I said, who are you? I'm Reese. I said, Reese. Do you know that John Paul wants to meet meet with kings? Do 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 do. More than that, because I know that I'm a little king. High level people. Well, John Paul goes to the swimming pool together. I'm with this little bit of sauce, but the swimming pool together. I don't have a clue what that's meaning is together. I'm sorry, I can't arrange a meeting. Well, the eighty car experience also the also the water that. So she hangs up. Yeah, see, see that the money's on. Turn on the light, pray. You mean I'm not listening? Phone rings. Is this the telephone ringing? Okay, Reese. Here we go, Reese. I can get you in the same room with him. Ma võin korraldades saad olla tema ühes ruumis. There'll be 70 other people there eating lunch. 70 inimest on veel, kus sinuga samas ruumis sõivad lõunad. If he comes up and talks to you. Kui ta tuleb su juurde, räägib suga. Great. Suure pärame. If he does it. Kui ta ei tule. I'm sorry. Siis ka ju. Nii see on. I said, okay, I went down there. Ma sõid, väga hea, mulle see kõlma. Me and my wife sitting there waiting. Mina ja minu naine läksin siin ootasime. Everybody's leaving the room. Kõik hakkab väiselt. Ruumist lahkuma. John Paul's the last one about to leave. Ja Paul John, John Paul on viimane, kes aga minema ära. He turns and he says, Mis ta põrgub ringi? He walks over. Tuleb sinna, kus mina olen. Hi, I'm John Paul Jackson. Ülde, mina olen Paul John, John Paul Jackson. I said, John Paul, I know. Tüüs, ma ei tea, ma ei tea. Thank you so much. Suur tänu. My name is Reese. Minu neil on Reese. My wife, Carolyn. Minu naine, Carolyn. You changed my life forever. Sinu teidist, kus muutis minu võib. I said, I just want to thank you. And I created this little dream card. Yeah, my friends, think it's just like some candy. So I gave it to him. And he said, "Is he got a fancy little collar?" And he looks at me and he says, "Got the blood sugar collar." I want to hire you as a national dream team coordinator. This mother of mine does in Palgale, who is Rafustik, my team is to say coordinator. I looked behind me because I know he wasn't pointing me. Yeah, my mother said, "Is he not? I must have missed him. Is he not there? But the main dude." He says, give me your number. He says, I'm going to fly you up to New Hampshire. I'm going to fly you up to New Hampshire. So me and my wife are driving home shocked. So I call my friend Doug Addison. 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 I said, Doug, with a Doug. John Paul just hired me as a national dream team coordinator. John Paul just went to his mind to the way Rafus did things to show him up. Do you have to know how to interpret dreams to be the coordinator? You have seen much of us, because coordinator, but here I'm going to use one of them as a delegator. So let's talk about coordinator. I'm honest with you, I didn't know. I didn't know, Mr. Delegator. Yeah. So I get hired. The admin part of the schedule. I used to hide in the offices all the time. Hide. Well, that was only regular contractors. Because everybody in the offices, great contractors, were so gifted prophets. Well, indeed, we do prophetic and interpreting dreams. The telegram is not an accusation. I was afraid John Paul was going to see me. You know, Mr. Paul, John Paul, and me, and realize he hired the wrong guy. This is Mr. Paul, Mr. Paul, and all of them. So I hid all the time. They were crazy, which is now. And so a couple of weeks later, when I'm not here, I want to take you to Poland. I want to take you to Poland with me. So he's teaching the class on understanding dreams and visions. They go to dinner. So I don't want to go to dinner with John Paul. So I grab about 12 to 15 young 20 somethings. Ja ma arvasin siis, et see oli julga noori, 15-20 aastat. Ja me just go to a pub and we just hang out talking. Ma läksime kuskile ja ajasime õttu ja peitsime aega. And these two drunk guys come and harass us. Ja siis tuleb kaks põrjus meest, ta tahavad meid saad tülitama. And the Polish lady stands up and says, hey! Ja siis üks politsee nainja ütles, et hey, mis teete? We got this American here, you're bothering us, leave us alone, go away. Sa on üks ameeriklane, ta segab meid ja ütles, et mingi rasta läheb minema. Little while later, same thing happens. When I have her sign in for the bedroom, she says the same thing. Do you know the sign? Yes. While she's saying that, who does the witness? The Holy Spirit speaks to me. Do you know why he went to the street? He says, "Ask the drunk man if he had a dream last night." Who she said that? Who is the man who is the drunk man who went to the street last night? Who is the man who is the drunk man who went to the street last night? I said, "I 
said, I ain't asking a drunk man to get a dream. I said, man, I call it Susie, what did you think? I said, I don't know, I know. I mean, I know a drunk man dream, I'm not going there. My dad had been there, I'm going to school back. <laughs> and then I said this. He's missing anybody. The Lord said, ask. He said, I said, Lord. I don't know how to interpret dreams. What happens if he tells me a dream? I don't know what it means. It's going to make me look bad in front of the students. And he said, ask. And I said, I'm not going to ask. I'm starting to sweat. My heart is beating. So she finishes. And I said, Ask him if he had a dream last night. She was kind of shocked. She says, This American wants to know if he had a dream last night. Okay, he's drunk. Had tubes all up and down his arms. He looked rough. And he said, yeah, I had a dream last night. Yeah, siis kui ta telkest aru sõjudes, jah, mul oli ilõhtulune nagu. And I go, oh no, here we go. Ma nii loodan, ma nii loodan kõrg. Listen to this dream and tell me what you think. Yeah, kuule sa mõne nagu ära, siis jah, ütle mulle, mis sa arvad sellest ise. So I had this dream last night. Mul oli suure nagu ilõhtul. It's dark outside. Väljas oli pime. And I'm in this prison. I'm locked in this prison. And this man comes into my prison and I stab him and I kill him. Another one comes in, I stab him, I kill him. Happens all night long. Men are coming into my cell. I'm stabbing and killing him. And I enjoy every bit of it. I didn't want to ask. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> so what does a good teacher do when she doesn't know something? I mean, I Turn to your students. What are you guys doing? <laughs> so he's looking at me. I just told you my dream. Tell me what it means. I'm sweating. My heart's beating. I don't know what to do. Because I'm clueless. But I take a step of faith. I said, this dream is speaking about your life. All of a sudden, the Polish people start crying. And I'm thinking, I guess God's here. <laughs> I don't feel him because I'm sweating. I said, this dream is speaking about your life. Something happened to you at the age of seven. This puts you on this path of anger, hatred, and murder. And has locked you in this prison. God has given you a gift to give life to man rather than death. And he screams. And he screams. Who are you people? I didn't have my big cross there. My big Bible. Jesus loved his t-shirt. He's like everything this American said is true about my life. Why am I crying? He's crying. Why am I crying? He's crying. The Polish people are crying. Everybody's crying. And I'm just looking. And the Lord said this. He was touched inappropriately by men all his life. Now touch him the right way. So I grabbed him and I kissed him. And he melted into the table. He just fell. His life was forever changed. Changed my life forever too. Because I realized that this was a key of how to reach people through interpreting dreams.
läbi unene kui te tõlgendamise. And since that day, sellest ajast peame, to this day, kui nii tänast nii, I can't even tell you the number ma ei suudas rõõlda isegi kui palju of witches festivals, on on nõidade kukule, K-Pride festivals, K-Pride, Pagan festivals, igasus paranikud üritused, Burning Man, kus on põled õttaks mingi asju. Seal on erilisus jõudnud Burning Man. Yeah, me and my friends went to. Kus mina ja minu sõbrad peisime? And we've led many people to the Lord. Me jõudsime paljusid inimesi Jeesus juurde. Through interpreting dreams. Läbi unenevude seletamise. Powerful. See on olnud mägev. Amen. Because a witch would never sit down and talk to a Christian. Sest nõid ei istu mahega räägi kristlasega. So we use strategy. Nii et meil on teadud strategia. God taught us strategy. Jumal andis meil on teadud strategia. People ask me what I did for a living. Inimest küsivad minu peaks, mida sa teed, millega sa tegeled. I don't say I'm a pastor. Ma ütlen enne, ma olen vastu. I say I'm a spiritual consultant. Ma ütlen enne, ma olen vaimlik nõustaja. And then... Vaimlik nõustaja. Really? Joo, kas tõist teile? I said yes. Ma ütlen hea. Do you interpret dreams? Kas sa on tõlge enne tunne nägusid? Absolutely. Yeah, leiva number mul. If I say I'm a Christian, kui ma ütlen, ma olen kristlane, the world is up. Siis on see, kui me ei vaja. They won't even talk to me. Ma siis ei räägi mulle rohkem. That's how we've reached many, many people for the Lord. Nõnda unenevusest selletas, ma olen juurud paljude, paljude inimeste, nii on tulnud nad Jeesus juurde. I could sit here for three hours telling you story after story after story. Ma võiks, kui sulle räägida, on kolm tõnd järjest ainult uusi. Acts chapter 2 says this. It's referencing Joel 3. What does it say in Acts chapter 2? In the last days, I will pour my spirit out on the pastors and the prophets. That's what the church thinks. That's the methodology we have set up. Või see on meie nagu filosoofia, kuidas me oleme ise. I will pour out my spirit on what? All flesh. Või mida tõtta, et ma valan oma vaimu kõige liha peal. What does all flesh mean? Mis ta on kõik liha? Yes. And what's the evidence of it? Ja mis on tõestus sellest? Dreams, visions and prophecy. Nägemused, profeteeringud ja unenevad. Not just Christians. Mind ainult kristlased ei näe neid non-believers, vaid ka uskvatud. He's like, where is that in scripture? See tõi, kus see peame kirjus on? I got quite a few scriptures I'm going to show you. Ma näida sulle peame kirju. Joe, God speaks to Pharaoh. Jumal räägi maadale. He's an evil, wicked king. Ta on nüüd õelnud Jumalatu põningas. But he has a prophetic dream. Aga Jumal on natale profetlik unene. God speaks to Nebuchadnezzar. Jumal räägi Nebuchadnezzar. An evil, wicked king. Väga kuri põningas. So, in your city today, where are the kings going to get their dream interpreted? They're not going to the church, which they should be. They're going to the witches, the pagans, because the church doesn't believe in dreams. There's a passage of scripture in Matthew chapter 24. And in that passage of scripture, Jesus is talking toward the end. That the deception will be so great. You know the story, right? The deception will be so great on the earth. That he had to cut the time short. Because even the elect would have been deceived. We're all familiar with that passage. Several uh, verses above that. He said something very interesting. Woe to those women who are pregnant and nursing babes. You ever wondered what that he meant by that? What is going with the mist of any of this? Any ideas? Or I call it some of the mist of this now. Why did he say woe to those men with ten wives? Mr. Bermuda, I don't miss the little women. 
<laughs> That's well, but what? So I finished that now. Okay. What were those women with 10 children? I got uh, Anna, nice to the girl, and they love it. We have to start reading scripture differently. And then we're going to look at it this morning. Asking why this and not that. Krishima. So I meditated on that scripture for several years. Asking the Lord. Why did you say that? What does that mean? And he said this to me. He said, I was basically saying this. Woe to those churches who still have their children at their breast and feeding them milk in the end times. Because the deception and the darkness will be so great on the earth and your church only has understanding of milk it's not going to go well. I go witches events all the time. They know how to understand how the spirit realm is working. Even though it's dark spirit, and it's not good, they know how to operate in it. They go to the churches, they don't know how to operate in the spirit. Maybe you speak in tongues and that's about it. So, that's why I've been traveling the last 20 years. To train and equip the church to greater things. So that in the end times, you just don't know milk. Does that make sense? You guys follow me? Do you know that by the time you're 70 years old, you will have spent 30 years asleep. Some of us more than others. <laughs> Would God waste that time? No. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 23 says this. Is it this morning just that is in the Bianchi um yes Bianchi yeah Gosh command. You want to read it? 23? 523. Agarau Yuma is a breed second day daily boat. A go good day lying, ya hing, ya ihu, say to light matuna. May Issa the Jesus Christ to the cooks. So basically saying that we're tripart beings. Body, soul, and spirit. Your body is consisted of three parts. Or three main parts. Three main parts of your body. Flesh, bone, blood. Your soul consists of three parts. Mind, will, and Emotion. emotion. And then your spirit consists of three parts. Was Wisdom, Darkus. communion, uh, and conscience. And in uh, John 3 10 says that we must become born again. We become the seed of God. Yeah, we must be born of the Spirit. Right? Okay? Because we chose to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Christ came, we know the story. So that we can be born of the Spirit, He can restore that back to us. Most of us are still ruled by our soul. And God wants us to be ruled by our spirit. So when your body's at rest at night, and you go to sleep, our spirit never sleeps. It searches the deep things of God. Therefore, God is speaking to us in the spirit realm. 
Können der Mai Mai wo Dimension ist. And the language of the Spirit. Können der Leute, der Mai wo geht es, schön ist. And much like I went through the process for 20 years, learning the language of the Spirit was in the same process that you learned Estonian. When you were born, you were hearing this gibberish. You didn't know what you were hearing. All of a sudden, your parents said, that's a chair. Ja, aga ühed hetkel saaks, et eristame tehtud sõnu, sinu ema ütles, see on tool. Maybe it's taken you a couple times to remember that's a chair. Ja siis sa arju ütlesid ja lõpuksid see, kõik see on tool. As you grew and mature, kus sa kasvad, küpsed, in the natural, loomulikus maailmas, you came more proficient in your language of Estonian. Siis sa said järjest paremaks Eesti keele kasutamises. Now that the age you are, nüüd selles vanguses, kus sa oled, you don't have to think about it. Sa peaksid küsida peal mõtlema. Right? You don't have to see something and try to figure out what that means. It's the same process. That we have to learn the language of the Spirit. So when you have your dreams, you're not going to know what they mean. Until you start learning how to Interpret symbols and metaphors. Does that make sense? Genesis chapter 34. One of my favorite stories. We all know the story of Joseph. Right? Everybody here know the story of Joseph? Okay, he has two dreams. One dream. He sees the sun, moon, and stars bowing down to him. The second dream, this is what else. He sees the stalks of wheat bowing down to his stalk of wheat. And I can imagine Joseph. A couple of weeks after he had both those dreams. He's in his room. He's probably putting on his coat of many colors. Looking in the mirror. I like this coat. Right? Then he decides to go in the family room. He's still in the family room. He's still in and he tells his family the two dreams. Did they say, you shouldn't eat that pizza last night? No. Did he tell them what the dream meant? No. How did his family know what the dream meant? The Hebrew culture. Hebrew culture. Much like you learned Lithuanian when you were a baby. <laughs> they were training their children. That Jehovah. That Jehovah. Speaks in dreams. When you sleep at night, Jehovah is speaking to you. Not in Hebrew. In the language of the Spirit. Through symbols. Through metaphors. That's how they knew. When was the last time you heard a message about God speaking in dreams in church? Not many churches are teaching on it. Many people think that you have to have a gift. That interpreting dreams is a gift. It's not a gift. It's a language. It's all through the scriptures. Let's look at Judges chapter 7. You don't have to turn there, but we all know the story. Here we see, here we see Gideon. We know the story of Gideon. He was afraid. So God tells him, go down by the bushes. 
Kõik on ütleme, et mine sinna põhjusaste vahele. And I want you to hear something. Ja ma tahan, et sa kuulaksid mind seal. So one of the soldiers comes out of the tent. Üks sõdu tuleb seal oma telgist parasugu välja. His body comes out. Ja tema sõgele tuleb ka sõlt välja. He's like, dude, oh, I had this crazy dream last night. Mul oli see hullu meelde unene ma ilel üles. He's like, well, tell me. Mis sul on nagu räägid? I saw this loaf of bread. This morning it's this the clay mark here. It's rolling down the hill. So do you know who ruined this man's stolen? And it takes out our tent. Yeah, yeah. Do you mean it? Yeah, we just don't stand him up. He didn't say. Do you think he did? We drank too much last night. No, what did he say? Hey, we don't do this. Hmm. No, what did he say? Hey, we don't do this. He gave him the understanding to the dream. Nein, this is a unenosidentus. These are not believers. Many night soldiers. They don't meet them as they should be. Who's to make them believe? How are they able to interpret the dream? Who has the sources to say that they're unen? Again, again, culturally. So the culture is it. Train their children. Or the training to talk to people about these things. God speaks in metaphors. And you want to make it metaphorical. Amen. So my sons were little. We don't worry about it. I said, when they get older, I want them to learn how to interpret dreams. I was going to never discuss what this on school was, but I had a little bit of an unusual dream that night. So my little son Reese was eight. We don't worry about what Reese is doing. I said, wherever we go, we should be careful. Ask God to show you a symbol over somebody's head. Paru, et juba meeldaks sulle sümboliga, kui me isegi kellegi peab olla. Because for children it's hard to look adults in the eye. Sest lastele vahest nagu raske vaadata teistkasunud otsa silma. So I said, look above their heads. Ja see vaata nende pea ole. So we go to church. Nii, et me näeme tuu kogudus. And my son comes up to me and says, Dad. Ja nagu poe tuleb minu nüüda mulle. God show me something. Jõu ma meeldis mulle midagi. I was like, okay, what? Mis mida? To see that guy over there? Just that's the face, sir. I see a turtle over his head. Ma näen, et tema pea kohal kiil konna. He's like, what does that mean, Dad? I said, come on. So I said, excuse me, sir. I said, I don't know. I'm teaching my son how to hear God. And to see in the spirit realm. And he's like, oh, okay. He's like, he said he sees a turtle over your head. And that guy goes, what does that mean? And I said this. I said, God is saying that you feel like Juba ütleb sul, et sa tunned nõnda. All your friends have run ahead of you. Kõik sinu sõbrad on sinust ette saanud. And you feel like that you've been left behind. Ja sa tunned, et sa oled nagu maha jäänud, et sa oled aeglased. But God is saying that if you will not quit. Aga juba ütleb sul, et kui sa ei anna alla. And don't quit the race. Ja sa ei lõpeta võidu jooksu. Instead stay steady. Ja jääd püsima. You will eventually win. Siis sina lõuks võid. He's balling. Ja tema on kuhkest tutma. It's exactly what's going on. With the steps that he's been able to spread with him, my son's got this big smile on his face. Give me a boy, so we're not out together. God wants him to know that he hears him. You want that this? It that the angst? It that's what the trouble is. At eight years old, I can't stand him anymore. Now he's twenty years old. You don't know what's going on. He was just in Russia with me in Lithuania. Tore was me no good leaders in Lithuania. The kids off the charts. Ja kõik sulle väsud ei ole. Because I trained him when he was little. See ma treenisin teda noorest east peale. We haven't been trained. Me ei ole treenitud. We don't have much time, people. Aga meil ei ole palju aega. We don't have much time left. Meil ei ole palju aega järgi. Let's learn one of the ways he speaks to us. Õpime selgeks ka selle viisi, kuidas üks nende spiisides, kuidas juba meil põne. In dreams. Mõne nendele. In ambitions. Nägi kus ta nägi. My life. Me do I do? I don't make any major decision in life. My dear, you can be a mister to stop my loss. Unless it's supported through a dream or a vision. It was said that you want to ask for the means to say that you say we go on now. Look at Matthew, chapter one, chapter two. What does it? The Evangelium is in there. The dream is in there. Any dreams in there? So we buy one and we should buy one. One of the first ones. Daniel goes. Joseph goes to sleep. Who's in this Joseph? That part. Angel comes to him. Take Mary as your wife, even though she's pregnant. Now, if he'd have woke up and said the pizza dream, we don't want to show this to us. The mom is so dear, but leave her alone. No. He knew it was going to happen. 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 
raskale ei ta tegu nüüd võtta teha seda. Another instance he goes to sleep and they do. Kolu korras ta läheb magama. Endagi. Go to Egypt. Ingel ilmutale unes jõudel peale mineni kihtusesse. Herod wants a king to kill baby Jesus. Herodes tab baby Jeesus tab. Very important information. Väga tähtis informatsioon. So if you look in scripture that I just went over. Nii kui sa vaatad pühakirja, millest ma läksin läbi. You see God speaking to a little 13-14 year old boy. Sa näed, kuidas Jumala kõnetab 13-14 aastat poissi. How do you son? Kui ma olen sa oled poissi? Pea sinu. No, no, no. Behind you. Yes, you bro. The one that's looking around. Ja, üks teist. Eleven. Eleven. Do you want to know God's plans for your life? Yes, I've said, who doesn't? Who does it? Oh yeah, you have to believe is that God speaks in dreams. The problem is, is that we've created the wrong culture in church. Everybody's going to the prophet to get a word. God lifted his hand off of that years ago with John Paul and I. You know, we men are going to support John Paul and others. This is our guy, so that's enough. We used to travel around the world. We raised his name around the world. And we'd stand people up and prophesy over them. Me profeteerisi me inimest üle paljudes kohtades. All of a sudden God packed his hand up. Ühe ette jumalades, et okei, ma ei tee seda enam enda. And I was like, John, what was going on? Me ütlesin, kuule, mis me ütleme, mis kõik näite on? I'm not sure. Tõus, ma ei ole päris kindel. But I realized, aga siin ma mõisin, God spoke to me after John Paul died. Pärast seda, kui John Paul suri jumal kõnetas mii. He said the church has prostituted the prophets. Et kogudus on nagu välja kumbanud profetid asju. And they're going to the prophets and not coming to me. Ja inimesed on väru ajunud, et pigem minna kelle profet, nii kui inimesi juurde ja mitte tulla otsa jumala juurde. And I'm jealous for my people. Ja tõdes ma hadestan oma seda vainu, mis neis on. So if God is speaking to the last man, about his future. Don't you think he wants to speak to you? About your future? Amen. The lady in Lithuania. She heard my message. She still came up to me. Do you have a prophetic word for me? I said, yes, I do. She got a big smile on her face. Go to your prayer closet. Spend time with Jesus. He has a lot of words for you. Amen. 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 If God is warning men and directing men in the Bible, don't you think he wants to direct you? I heard a testimony of an Iranian pastor. Oh, was it an Iranian pastor? Iranian pastor, twinistus. He pastors the underground church in Iran. The one pastor is Iranian, but other ones are schools. What happens if you get caught in Iran preaching the gospel? Miss you to go Iran is a good to the evangelium in the same way as Kenya. He had his legs off his shoulders. She's very honest and true to that. Yes, right. So he shared a story. He said, what happens is this. If we're going to meet on a Saturday night, on Friday night, God gives the whole congregation, like this is the whole congregation, a dream that night, with the address, the building and the time. So that they know and not the axe. It's safe. It's season kingdom. You do not need to see that. God doesn't give the word to the prophet. You want to understand? I know the son of the prophet. I'm so gifted, and I'm the prophet. Me not only am the prophet, I'm also the prophet. God told me where we're all supposed to be. Now let's go. You want to know more? Let us make a lot of money. I'm going to pick some of the list. God values everybody. You want to learn to speak to everybody. He loves everybody. He longs to speak to all of us. That's what we may read at the end of it. But if you don't believe that God speaks in dreams, I wish I had an excuse for you to learn. When I go, when I go, when I go, when I go, you don't value it. You don't say I'm sure about that. You don't learn the language of the spirit. You don't be my mom. Simply, 
you can be sitting at home watching TV. She said, well, who would you like to look at the stick Well, everybody else is encountering God. Because you missed the message. Am I getting my point across? I'm not trying to be mean. We just don't have much time. We don't have 20, 30, 40 years. We need to get into the things now. Amen. How are we doing on time? Are we doing good, bro? Yeah. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Another passage of scripture I love is Numbers chapter 12. <laughs> It's one of the ways he makes himself known to us. How many of you want to know more of the Lord? Here's something very interesting. We know the story of Moses, Moses chapter 33. Which book of that? Exodus, Moses. <laughs> I've been speaking for 25 days now, so my mouth, <laughs> my brain is... <laughs> we, we know the story of Moses. He goes up and meets with the Lord. But let me just say this. What I'm talking about tonight, we do 42 hours of intense college level teaching. 42 hours. We go over hundreds and hundreds of scriptures. I'm trying to boil it down to couple of hours here. That's why I'm paraphrasing scripture, so please forgive me, you can read it on your own. I just don't want to take the time and go through the Bible and doing all that. You get my point. So he comes up before the Lord, he says something very interesting. Teach me your ways that I may know you. And I can hear God saying, wait a minute, you've seen me part the Red Sea, the 12 plagues, all the signs and the wonders I did to deliver the children of Israel, and I can hear Moses saying this, I don't want to know your acts. I want to know your ways. Most of the church are looking for his acts. Signs, wonders, and miracles. I want to know his ways. Speaks more of relationship. I'm not following after signs, wonders, and miracles. Spending time. We have to know his ways. And that's what he wants to do. So dreams are very powerful. I said most of the dreams, nothing happens in my life without confirmation in the dream. When my daughter was 17, she was going through those rebellious years. Anybody got a 17-year-old daughter? Or was anybody a 17-year-old daughter? <laughs> so she's kind of like me. She's not afraid of nobody. And she got in my face. Because she was dating this guy I didn't like. And it's my right not to like any guy that she brings home. It's my right. I'm 
I don't like any of them. Nu mă lebeni duc și ei doar cu ei. Păi eu mă duc cu ei fără de duc pe masul. Nu se mai gândi, nu se mai gândi. Cu ele se mai gândi, nu se mai gândi. Și nu se mai gândi. Păi eu mă duc cu ei fără de duc pe masul. Și nu se mai gândi, nu se mai gândi. Și nu se mai gândi, nu se mai gândi. Și nu se mai gândi, nu se mai gândi. Și nu se mai gândi, nu se mai gândi. Și nu se mai gândi, nu se mai gândi. Și nu se mai gândi, nu se mai gândi. Și nu se mai gândi, nu se mai gândi. Și nu se mai gândi, nu se mai gândi. Și nu se mai gândi, nu se mai gândi. Și nu se mai gândi, nu se mai gândi. Și nu se mai gândi, nu se mai gândi. Și nu se mai gândi, nu se mai gândi. Și nu se mai gândi, nu se mai gândi. Și nu se mai gândi, nu se mai gândi. Și nu se mai gândi, nu se mai gândi. Și nu se mai gândi, nu Oh, you don't think I won't throw you out of the house? She's like, no. She's like, no. Oh, okay. But then I said, get that baby straight to the bed. She's like, no. Is she? Oh, okay. We said, yeah. Come on. Who is she? I drug her upstairs in her room. We said, no. Then we took her. I packed all of her bags. Is this? We said, do drugs at the beginning. Go, go. I threw them outside. We said, let's go to the bed. I like get the blankety blank out of here. We said, no, no, the room bed. She left with her boyfriend. She's through get this boyfriend in. And my wife looked at me. And she's been on the phone this minute or so. And I started crying. You want to know what? I cried every night. No, it's not enough. Crying out to God for my daughter. It's not enough to do my daughter. I'm not doing the best. One of the hardest things I ever did. You should ask my idol. I'd go to bed just tears. Lexi Magama, he's out of tennis. One night I was praying for her. You should have been on the phone with him. Just crying and praying. Rutsi, ja pannettasin. I fall asleep. Mis ma olen heidin magama. I wake up in this room. Is it märkse üles teema taas? But I'm still sleeping. In a dream. In a room. In a room. I'm in a dream in a room. Ma olen märkse üles üles toas, aga olen tegelikult enda magamist toas vana. I see a guy sitting in a chair facing that way. Ma näen kuules üks noor, mis istub tuuli peal ja ta vaatab silmitsi selles summas. And I'm still trying to figure out where I'm at. Ja ma pigem olenemas nagu võist, et kus ma olen. And a voice tells me. Is you sad for the poor guy? This is your future son-in-law. I said, "See, or is it not too late to marry this?" I created him for your daughter, Jessica. Mom, when we started the demos, we looked at his CV. This is the type of man he is. He went a list of who he was. Yeah, he's since been in an enormous storm. Yeah, you want to have this for him? Kill it to the last moment. So I wanted to look at his face. But this is the wrong man I'm going to. So I went like this. But this is the wrong guy. And he turned this way. Yeah, the very wrong guy. So I went like this. <laughs> and he turned this way. He's the better one out of. And I woke up. He's my choice. I called my daughter. He is in the middle of the said, Jessica. I said, Jessica. I just met your husband. I just talked to you in the office. The guy you're with is not him. So we took a couple of weeks. My daughter did. She finally comes home. To the point. A year later. I stayed. We moved from New Hampshire to Texas. A year later. I stayed. We moved from New Hampshire to Texas. The next thing that you have to say is Texas is such a big hall. Which is John Bolley. And so she dates a couple other guys that don't like him either. Yeah, no, a bit more. Boy, she's really rough. Must get with it. Must get with it. But when she comes home, she said, "Yeah, this guy asked me out on a date." I said, "You know that the boy that is out there, see, boy, is not supposed to be talking to me, sir." I said, "You know the rule." What is it? Yeah, baby. I gotta meet him and shake his hand. Mama goes to bed and Mama gets back at school. Because when I meet him and shake his hand, I meet his spirit. Says to him, "Mina goes to bed and Mama gets back at school." Says Mama, "Sal teada mistä mä vain on seis tuo." So when I shake your hand, I'm meeting your spirit. Ja kun Mina goes to bed, siinä on vielä kaksi sukeltia, mutta tunnen, että mistä mä vain on seis tuo. So he comes to the door. Ei tuo tuo kuksi juuta? I didn't recognize him. Vain tuo tuo tuo. I shake his hand. Suurin mikä? I didn't say nothing. Where did you get it? So I said, "Don't go out." We said, "Let me get him in there." Oh, that's all right. We said, "Oh, I said that." We said, "Can you?" That's the guy I met in a dream. Say, "Is it going to get him out?" Say, "No, I know." That's her husband. Say, "The mommy goes out." I felt his spirit. I know what he's doing. Say, "Is it going to get him out?" We just so we didn't say nothing. We didn't say anything. I think it was sixty days later. Bar Bodia. He comes to my house. Say, "Norbert, look at my hand." He said, "I want to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage." We said, "Madam, hold on. This is a little forget how he looks." I said it's gonna cost you twenty horses. We said that box of rocks and bones. He was all nervous. But he's gonna marry us. We've been married ten years now. Now I don't know what else could be asked. Two little grandkids. We're gonna make it last of us. That's the power of dreams. See, on one end, we're making it. So when you're not believing that God doesn't speak to dreams, they push it out of the door. On one end, we're making it. You're not paying attention to your dreams. Because I keep on saying that on one end, we're making it. You're missing out on one of the ways that God communicates to mankind. She said, "You want to see me as a species, but you want to have to be in front of me." He's not going to change his ways for you. You want to go and see what I'm doing? It's the best. 
Because you don't believe, Yusuf, he's not going to change. De my mundo. So another passage of scripture says what? My people perish for what? So much we have to learn. So much we have to learn. We don't have time to mess around people. All you have to do is repent. He wants to speak to you in dreams. You want to know how rank the sinuva comes in the middle of it, so that how much to watch. My little son was when he was five. We don't point to the living master. He kept asking me. The Christian in the West. God, what's the dad? What's heaven like? He said, "Good as time as when they die." At that time, Selaya, I didn't know. My idea, because I haven't been. Sest mul ei ole nägemust kuna taevastel. But since then I've been many times. Aga sellest aastast saadik jumala on enam kuna taevast mitu kurda. So I said, ask God. Kui see kuule, kui see kõrda kõrgesti? Ask God. Kui see kõrgesti? Kui see kõrgesti? So for one year he prayed every night. Need terve aastud saab poeg kõrgetas igal ühtu õhtu. Then he comes flying down the stairs one day. Kõhe taevalda tuleb juustus trepist alla. He had this big smile on his face. Suur raivatus näos. But before that, enne seda, I trained my children how to stop having nightmares. How many people have nightmares? How many people had nightmares when you were a child? So what happened when you had the nightmare? What happened? I was asleep. And then you go to your mom and dad and bed. You're crying. And your mom and dad says what? So dear boy, he's I'm not the sun. Oh, it's just a dream. Oh, can you say this so to me? It doesn't mean nothing. It's just your imagination. And so you believe her. And therefore you're afraid. Is it a person? So you say to yourself, subconsciously, it's not safe to dream. And so therefore, at that time, you shut dreams out of your life. You no longer dream. And so when Satan gave you the nightmare, it did the very thing he intended it for it to do. Shut you down from dreaming and be afraid. So I tell my sons, you're children of God. Right? I said, yep. I said, can you fly right now? They said, nope. I said, can you fly in your dreams? They said, yeah. I said, you can, when you have a scary dream, you can do anything in that dream. Because then it's the spirit realm. It's not bound by this realm. Selle maailma pole see kogu trollitud. I said, you can go get a gun. Sa võid võtta püssi näiteks. You can turn into Superman fly. Sa võid võtta Superman lennab põhjus. You can do anything in a dream. Sa võid teha oma näha sõks kõik pidav. You know the difference between children and adults? Ja teha, mis on vahem. Laste teis, kas võtta vahem. Children, believe me. Lapsed, usuvad meid. Adults, still ruled by their soul. And teis, kas võtta nemad. Where's that? Where's that in scripture? Which is important. So anyway, my son has a dream. He comes down. He said, Dad, I was in this dark, dark place. I was afraid and I was I was scared. I felt like I was gonna wake up. But I remember, my dad said I can turn into Superman. So he said I flew out, I landed on this rock, and I'm standing there, Jesus appears to me, and he says because you exercise your authority, I have a reward for you. Interesting. 
Aren't we, though? God longs for us to exercise our authority. Jumal taha, et me rakennaksime oma autoriteeti. And he rewards us when we exercise our authority. Ta tasub selle eest. So Jesus said, I want to take you somewhere. Need Jeesus ütleb, et see viia uskele. Took him to heaven. Viista tahmesse. He was walking in heaven, the grass was greeting him, the flowers and the trees. Ja kõndis taevastel, väljadel, rohi, tervitas teda. One of our dogs that passed away came running up to him. Üks mõige põhjavates, kes oli jooksistada vastu. He said, do you remember me? Üks on väljad või me? So all dogs do go to heaven. Need kordad lähevad taevasse. It's not just a movie. See oli meid film. Then Jesus said, I want to show you your mansion. Siis Jeesus ütles, ma tahan neile, et sulle sinu maja. He says it was, Jesus was just starting it. Ja Jeesus hakkas sinna suunas minema. He doesn't know that scripture. It says that he's preparing a place for us. He's only eight years old. He saw some other things. And Jesus said, well, you'll come back again. You must go now. So how many encounters are you missing with God because you have responded to fear instead of him. Many of us have. You have to understand this principle. Fear and faith have the same definition. They both believe that something that hasn't happened is going to happen. Nad usuvad, et midagi, mis veel ei ole juhtunud, saab juhtuma. So when you come into agreement with fear, nii et kui sa oled nõus ilmuga, it's the power of agreement that you're coming into agreement with Satan's plans. Siis sa ühe viisil nõustud saatan plaaniga. If you have the faith, aga kui sul on usk, you're coming into agreement with God's plans. Siis sa nõustud Jumala plaaniga. So I'll share you a quick story about the power of agreement. Ma ei jõuan teile kiire loo nõus olemise väest. I was sharing the same principle in a church. Ma rääksin seda prinsiipi ja sooluses. And when I said that, kui ma seda õtlesin, I passed to his wife, pastor Nene Lager. Pastor Nene Lager, kus toolis nagu välja praatas. I said, because what happens if, see võtse, mis juhtu kui, your son is born, sinu poeg sündi, he has some feminine qualities about him. And then you start fearing that he was a homosexual. And then when he turns age 16, he comes out of the closet and says he's a homosexual. You basically empowered that decision of Satan's plans for his life. That's why she fell out of the chair. Instead of saying no, sellas on tõdu mine. I come out of agreement with Satan's plans. Ma tulen sellest, sellest, sellest nõus olekust. I come out of agreement with Satan's plans. 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 Selle ilmu kaudu me nõustume saatan plaaniga meie elu jaoks. And we wonder why we can't get free of something. Siis me mõtleme, miks me ei saa vabaks teatud vestnest. All you have to do is come out of the power of agreement. Sa pead tulema välja sellest nõusoleku väest. So she tells me the story. Nii et ta räägid mulle seda loo. My son. Minu poeg. Feminine qualities, like you said. Võtsin naise ei kui loomagus, et nagu rääkis. For years we feared he was homosexual. Aastal me katsin, et temast tõtt on homosexual. So I looked at his son. Ma olas seda poeg peale. He was feminine. I said, do you want to get set free? He said, yes. I prayed for him. God set him free. It took a couple of months. But his mannerisms changed. His voice changes. And he came free. He was feminine. Side note. Do you realize that demonic beings can manipulate your DNA? Või on manipuleerida sinu DNA-ga? It's in the Bible. See on Biblis.
pe tineri, pii de duce, pomșii. Dacă ene cum și trumi stelele, ne tăhame cu oameni, tăhame cu scurie, atunci, pe ideea să vă gândiți, dar ne va să ne văd la Israel, că ea s-a dat de ei tot. Me lähme natuke veel edasi, on täna juhtu läinud siin, läheb edasi järgmise linna, võib-olla mõned teist peal ära minema, aru saanud, aga me lähme veel pisut, nagu tõnnikise veel edasi peale seda mausi, nii kui sa taad teda kuulema, siis väga tore, aga enne kui sa lähed pausile, me tahame kokku panna anastusohvri selle täna ahtuse meie tinnie jaoks, juba on sulle see jaoks ja minnistada teda. Võimalus kõlvada heasse maasse. Amen.
guys done so far? Chris to the doom, the big guy. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay. Is, uh, we'll do it though. I'm going to start going over the types of dreams. Man, I'm going to get the menable the dupes. What different symbols means in dreams? Me see any one symbol that I know the menable this. They can interpret a few dreams. Yeah, see some of the first, some of the yeah, whatever they're doing. See that they're far more than they are. And then I will leave the last probably 30 minutes. Yes, I'm going to get a minute to some of them. Open the questions. Questions there, yes. I love questions. Well, the main thing is questions. So write your questions down. Give me the questions, yes. Okay. Yeah, good. I'm going to share just briefly. Lui dat me aan het. Of what the Lord showed me for the Baltic regions, because I've been praying. Met de jongen denkt als we de Baltic regio's als het is voor een bal het dan te leren. I said, Lord, what are you doing here? Met de jongen met als we wat te zien hebben. He's doing many things. You want that Baltic region to see. But he chose to show me this one thing he's doing. Maar dat dan neemt dus nu de uitkomst van de dag. Have you ever read Daniel chapter two? Or it's something like you look at Daniel that is there again. You're very familiar with the story. She saw it in the book. That's the rule. So Nebuchadnezzar does this. He calls together all of the magicians, the pagans, the sorcerers, and all the witches. Right? That was his spiritual counsel. And he says something interesting to him. Tell me the dream I had. And the, the meaning of the dream. Yeah. And if you can't do it, I will tear you from limb to limb. And what did they say? Anybody remember? Who could? Yeah, who on earth can do that? Well, let's think about this first of all. How did you finally get to that situation? I'm with Mr. Levin. What is the situation in the man's life? You ever wonder? Well, let's not Mr. Levin. How long has he been using? Who is going to be my consultant? These spiritual advisors. Nay, why you say no state? Thirty, twenty years. How can you not stop? He's been telling them his dream. And the rank, and the rank, and they don't want to know. They're telling him the meaning of the dream. And they don't want to know his life. He's so dissatisfied this group of people. And me, but the wrong rule about to is that a group of people is to us is the most. Basically, say you tell me the name. I'm tired of your interpretation. I do need to hear a little bit of your voice. I'm tired of you telling me what I want to hear. Yeah, yeah. The right thing to do is to have a good voice. I'm finally at the point. You give me the dream and the meaning. Dream, but I have to accept the meaning. Only now, yeah, I said to say. That's what the Lord showed me. The Baltic region is like. See, on me, you want me to go to my region? Is what this? The politicians, political, the TV airways, yeah, TV news, the communities, community. Oh, the pagans have the ear of them. Pagan and cool of them. The witches. No, yeah. The new age. New age is big, man. The church is silent. A cool is a bait. I saw it on TV. I get the news. These guys aren't coming to the church. For the church to tell them what do their dreams mean? The pagan has their ear. And God has allowed it. Because I sense in my spirit. They're frustrated. They're tired of hearing that. And the Lord said this. I'm about to raise up some Daniels. And Daniels. And Daniels. Don't want to forget about the women. They're going to come and be able to get, grab the ear of the politicians. 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 CEOs. I love the businessmen. That's why I'm here. I'm here to teach on this. I'm coming back to Lithuania and Russia with a team to help train people who are interested in going to these festivals. 
Most Christians don't like going to festivals. Most of the Christians don't like going to festivals. I do. Which is lovely. Yeah, they don't like going to festivals. Which is lovely. Yeah, they don't like going to festivals. You know why they love me? They're just better. I don't have an agenda. I'm not carrying my Bible. I'm not carrying my big cross. My Lord is over this thing. Jesus lives in me. Jesus is not me. Jesus. And all I do is love them. Kõik mis on teed, ma armastan neid. So how would they deny me? Kuidas on saaks, et mis siis üljata? If I'm doing the very thing they're looking for is love. Kui ma armastan neid ja nemad tegelikult vajavad seda. All the time I come in. Iga kord kui ma tulen. And they're like, wow. No, they're like, hey. You have such a nice aura about you. Sul on nii ilus aura, sul on meil. I said, you like it, don't you? Ma ütlesin, sul on meil, eks kes pole nii. Right? And I'm training my team. Ja ma treenin oma meeskonna. And so this witch is right here. Just treenin on siin. They're selling sacrificial knives over there. Sell on mõjuvad mingi suud ohvri nuge. They're doing spiritual readings over here. Sell on teevad mingid vaimu nuge, mingid lugemisi. Käe jooni mis iganes. She's like, I like your aura. Tõrg, mulle meeldi su aura. Can I do a cleansing on you? Kas ma võiks teha ühe pohastuse sinu meel? And my team is like, well, like this, behind the scene. She's like, no. Ei minu olnud team. Näitab, sa tõrgad, ära tegi seda. I said, absolutely. But see, yeah. Only condition. I don't get any of them. If you do me. If you do me. If you do me. I get to do you. So you don't want to do me. Okay. She said, okay. So she lit her sage. I stood out in the middle of the street like this. I'm not even at this. She started just. She started just. She started just. She started just. Doing all her stuff. But I say, greater is he who is in me. This he who is in the world. And she goes, did you like that? I said, yeah, it's pretty refreshing. I said, now I get to do you. Give me that sage. And she goes, Ja ma ei tee, mida suur peal ei ole. Ma ei liian täiusti. Okei, let's go. God touched her. Ja ma puhutas nii inimest. Very powerful way. Väga tugevest nii. She's laying there with tears in her eyes. Ta kogus ja pisarad tema silmist tulid. God loves the lost. Jumal armastab kadumaid. And most Christians are stuck in church. Aga enamus Kristus istub kirikus. I'm addicted to the lost. Mina olen sõltumuses kadunatest. I'm addicted to homosexuals. Ma olen sõltumuses, et aidat oma seis olema. Nõidu. Drug addicts. Narkomane. Alkoholikud. Alkoholikud. I love them. Armastan neid kõiki. Just as Jesus loved them. Just nii, nagu Jeesus neid armastab. Right? Eks ole nii? And what a perfect way for us to go and to reach them. Ja milline suurepärane viis minna ja sirutul on esimene. So let's go back to Daniel chapter 2. Need Daniel teises peal ja kes? There's nobody on earth who can do that. Kei suuras ka teha. Daniel shows up on the scene. Siis ta on ilmul pende. Now if I was Daniel, you know, years ago. Aastaid tagasi kui minna oleks olnud tema asemel, ta on enne asemel. I would have done this. Ma oleks teinud niimoodi. Why don't you go first? Kui nüüd ole seda esimene? First witch said, I don't know. Esimene nüüd ütles, mina ei tea. Pea. Heads lifted off the shoulders. Pea, võib ära. Next. Järgmine. Pea. One by one. Üks tõsi järgi. After they were all dead. Pärast kui võid nad olis surnud. Let me tell you what the dream means. Nüüd on ma räägi, et nüüd surnud ära kui tähendas. That's what Christians do today. See on me Kristus, mis te teevad täna. Not Daniel. Aga mitte Daniel. Daniel said, no, spare them. Hey, sastana, sastana. Which showed you his love for Daniel. Mis Daniel showed you his love for them. Mis näitas Daniel armastust. And you got to realize it says that Daniel was trained in all the Chaldean ways. Ja me peame meeles tõrame, et Daniel ei õpetati Kaldia kommentergi. They didn't have a separate class for Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. See on eri klassi, kus käis Sadrach, Meshach, Abednego ja Daniel. Where they teach him the Hebrew ways. Kus on õpetsed neile nõu kristikul viisil, kõik eri asja. He sat in the same classes. Või Hebrew viisil, nii istus samas klassis. He understood numerology. Astrology. Astrology. 
He didn't practice it, but he understood it. Now, practice it. Now, practice it. You know, so the whole world could have the most is that I said. So he loved the witches. He had to be at arms to stand up. He stayed. He had to stand up. That's what we need to do. So this to the men down. Amen. So here God shows an evil, wicked king. See, you don't need to be worried or worried about about what's happening now. So they want to be shut up now. What's going to happen in the future? Be shut up to the Nikos. And when the kingdom is all wrapped up, you know, we only agree to go to the book, you know, look on it. I love that. One of the things I said. I love it. One of the things I said. So let's talk about dreams. In very moment. How can you tell the dreams are from God? Who does the way to do this? Who never knew most? Any thoughts? What's the way you want that? Full bright color. Eh, seven. Very little known enemy. And they have his essence or his thumbprint or his spirit on it. Ja sa koge Jumala ligivõlu selles, sa tunned tema lähedus selles. Because you know that somebody has spoken to you. Sest sa teada, et keegi on siin kõnetanud. You may not know what it means, but there's weight. Sa ei tule ei tea, veel mis see tähed, aga sa tunned, et selles unenavus on nagu rohkem kaaru. Nebuchadnezzar wakes up, he says, something important was just spoken to me. Nebuchadnezzar wakes up, he says, something important was just spoken to me. Nebuchadnezzar wakes up, he says, something important was just spoken to me. He's willing to kill everybody until he found out what that meant. Ainus tapma kõik ära peal, et saada teada, mis see unenavu tähendab. So if you have dreams that are full bright color, it's from God. Nii kui unenavu on nagu täis märmidega, siis see on üks märk sellest, et see võib olla jumalast. And then we have what we call the soulless dreams. Siis me võib olla nagu hingelised unenavad. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 8, you don't have to turn there. Jeremiah 29 verse 8, it's a sin. But it says, nor listen to the dreams that they cause to dream. Don't listen to the dreams that they cause to dream. Ära kuule neid unenavusid, mis on põhjustatud unenavad. Meaning, tähendan seda. Dreams from your soul are typically what you want on unenavad astes, mida sina vihaldad. What you feel and what you think. Mis emotsioonides sa läbi meid ja mis on sinu päeva võtted veel. Typical soulless dream. Tüüpiline ingi unenavu. My wife, when we had children, she would have this reoccurring dream that our children were dying, choking. And she says, is that God or is that a warning? No. When you were little, you choked and almost died. So that's being produced by your fear. Another example. I stood one guy up, what was your dream? He said, I have this reoccurring dream weekly that I won the lottery. I said, oh, do you play the lottery? Every day. That doesn't mean you're going to win the lottery. That's produced by your desires. Right? Another one, a guy in Russia, pulled me aside. He said, I gotta tell you this dream. I said, okay, tell me. He said, see that girl over there? I dreamed that I'm going to get married to her. It's reoccurring. I said, does she know you? He's like, not yet. Was she married? Kas ta nabilus? He said yes. Ta siis jääda nabilus. I was like, she's not going to marry you. Ma see ei ole. See ei ole abilu sinu. It's a soulish dream that's produced by your desire. See, kui on sinu hingeline ihaldus, ja sealt sa tuled. Those dreams are typically muted in color. Need on sellised tuvid ja värvid. They really don't have much meaning to them. Ja nendes pole suur tähendust. God's dreams has meanings. Jumala, kui nagu tal on tähendused. Then we have what we call nightmares. The settings at night, or they're black and white. Okay, those are black and white dreams. And then we have another category called false dreams. Paul says the Satan can appear as what? Angel of light. So these dreams are typically in some sort of color. And they're there to deceive the believer. 
It's usually misrepresenting somebody's character. For instance, an intercessor in church, true story. She had a dream that one of the elders was committing adultery on his wife. Yeah. So she whispered it to a friend. And then a friend to another friend. Gossip. And spread to the whole church. And split the church. And he never was unfaithful to his wife. False accusations. And he dreamed that the very thing that Satan wanted to do is to the church with gossip. Okay? That's a false dream. I could spend an hour on that. <laughs> but I don't have time. So, we got those types of dreams. So let's look at symbols and dreams. How can you tell if a dream is about you? Or somebody else? First rule. Are you in the dream? Are you riding the horse? Are you driving the car? Are you climbing the mountain? God is speaking to you. Not anybody else. The symbolism of the dream will give you understanding about what that means. Dreams are like puzzles. The more you put together, the picture becomes clear. Now, how many of you had a dream where you're up in the ceiling looking down at a situation? Are you watching a situation? Then the dream is about that situation. Whether it's about that family, that church, that city, always err on the side of intercession. So even though you may not understand what's going on, if you spend time praying and interceding, that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, so those typically the two types of dreams. And you'll realize 97% of the dreams you have at night are about you. Because God's trying to fix you. Right? All of our issues. Okay? So what do you think of house? How many people have had dreams about houses? What do you think a house represents? Let's think symbolically. Your life. It's where you live. There's many different rooms in your life. So all the different rooms mean something. So when you're looking at dreams, understand this principle. You live in the natural realm. We all agree? Okay, so when you go to sleep at night, God allows you to see what's going on in the spiritual realm. So your dream is speaking about your spiritual life. So if you're in your kitchen, God is speaking about what? Preparing spiritual food. How about your bedroom? God be, could be speaking about rest. You want to live a life of Speaking about intimacy. How many people have had dreams about you're sitting on the toilet? Somebody don't want to raise your hand. Good. Some people don't want to raise your hand. Toilet, right? How many of you had a dream where the toilet's here? And you have an audience. You have a Anybody? <laughs> or how many of you gotta go, gotta go, gotta go? But you can't find a toilet. Yes. So what do you think? The toilet represents spiritually. Be released of something. Yes, 
cleansing. So what God is saying to you, you've ingested something, maybe it's a spiritual teaching, not this teaching, but somebody else. <laughs> You've ingested something. So the big it's not good for you. Yeah. And you need to be cleansed of it. That's not a bad deal. With it being up here in front of everybody. How many of your friends know? At times in your life when you're going through your, you're getting cleansed of something. My friends know. It's not a big deal. Yeah, but it's crazy way. They know Rishi's going through a cleansing time. God's cleansing him. So when you, I mean, that Rishi, Rishi, I'm not going to cleanse him. If you can't find a place, God is saying, I want to cleanse you, but there's no place you can get cleansed. You want to do this in a God? Sometimes I hear it say, "Hey, you want to do some way of pouring stuff to get rid of all those things?" Shower. Let this be done. Touch it. What are you washing off? We don't have a place. Dirt, grime, mustus. Let's look at that spiritually. What we're going to do is that maybe you walk by some people. But as a big mistake, it's just in the same screen. Maybe you watch the movie you shouldn't have watched. But as a lot of people, you know, they always do. Maybe something happened. Walk by. We're going to make you do something. So God's saying your body is not meant to handle those toxins. Yeah, we see that you want to be so evil, you're not going to get that toxin. And then the dream. The dream is just saying he's washing you. Yeah, we're going to have to be the business. What's the spirit? Sometimes we don't know what we come into contact with. Or what's come through the eye gate. I remember a story John Paul talks about. That a pastor came to him and he said, My son is talking to an imaginary friend. And I'm concerned. Did you ask him who he's talking to? John Borg is just like asking us about it. Do you know what we're asking to get that angle? He's like, can I do that? Do you know what we're doing? Yes. Who's he talking to? Next time he sees his son in the room. Yeah, the world's gonna go crazy. Absolutely. His son is eight years old. We're going to make sense for him. He said, son, who are you talking to? Spoil it. Get it. Get it. Get it. He said, dad, an angel. Do you know what I'm talking about? So he goes back to John Paul and tells him. He said, I'm sorry, Paul, you're the worst. He said, what is the angel telling him? He said, I'm sorry, Paul, you're the worst. Well, ask him. Can I do that? Yes. Next time the son's in the room, talking to his angel, he said, "Son, ask the angel why I can't see him, but you can." So the eight-year-old turns his the angel. He said, Daddy, the angel said that your eyes is seeing too much evil and your heart has grown callous. He said, you should have learned to relax. After he got up off the floor, <laughs> ask the angel, will I ever see? Turns, turns back. Says, he said, you will, Daddy, one day. But he said, your calluses run deep. And we wonder why we don't see him in his spirit. We have to protect this gate. This gate. This gate. Amen. I want to see this. Has anybody seen this angel that's standing right here? Excuse me, little English, this angel. Yeah, he showed up during worship. English, you see, I'm very excited to see him. He typically follows me. You know, right seeing him. The other guy, Mindy. One of the first angels I ever saw with my eyes. Looks English, this guy, I'm not even a machine man, the guy. And he has the. He almost looks like a Native American. The other guy, Mindy, the guy. He has a rainbow colors painted in his face. And he was sent on assignment for each one of you here. The same thing? Yes. Uh, assignment to each, to, to each person here. Yeah. Because he's ministering to each one of your spirits. So you can start believing that God wants to speak to you in dreams too. Niin, että tämä on työ, joka sellaisi, että Jumala 
he's like a big dos in the waste of it. I see this is breaking up mindsets, breaking up issues. More of this, they're to the mud the kindos to see the business. The chair, so but the day's coming when we will all see him. Amen. 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 What else? How about how many people have had dreams of snakes? Why don't you just go and ask them uh, that lady's pregnant back there. So what the list? I don't don't ever trust the dreams of a pregnant woman. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go somewhere. Who's at the major? You know why? That is first. Anybody know why? That is first. The baby's dreaming. Baby running out. The mom's dreaming. Emma running out. And the dreams twisting. And she's running on the regular bicycle. And she's like, what the heck is that dream all about? And I'm the middle of the room as now. I had a woman that I was interpreting her dream. And it was, she said it was in color. This is really bad. And it was a crazy dream. So you were in the And I was just like, I couldn't figure it out. Was it my son just the soul? She said, I said, when did you have that dream? Was it middle of the dream? Oh, when I was pregnant with my daughter. I used to come over the door. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> so if the baby's dreaming, we lumps when I was in that. I wonder what they're dreaming about. Just to get you to think. Anyway, snakes. What do you think snakes represent? Okay. Evil. Yes, keep going. Demons. Keep going. Sin. Deceit. Deceit. Right. What did he do? He deceived Eve. The Pentis Eva. Remember, I said go to scripture first. So they represent lies. Deception. Pentus. So if you're in a house and you look outside and all these lies are all these snakes are out there. God's trying to tell you this. There's a lot of deception and lies trying to affect your life. So when you wake up, pray. Expose those lies. Expose those lies. Now how many of you had dreams of snakes? And they bit you. Yeah, they almost did it. Bit you? Okay, who's the almost did it on this? So God is saying this. You want to tell us that again? No. There's a particular lie. When that was one, it's already ingested. It's poison in you. We saw the same tube on you. You don't know it. And you believe it. So it's us who must have done it. So you wake up. The second one is. Lord, please. Is the main thing. Show me what that lie is. We saw it on. And then you repent. It's just part of the man from the Linux. It's who's who's just in the wallet. And then it's all done. This is nice for us. We go on our way. The other way, we're going to say. Okay? So it's very common. Sorry, it's very common. What else? Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Then you swing in the mud. Many, many times swing in the mud. I go to swing, but then it's all muddy there. Let me just say this. I reserve the right to not embarrass you in front of everybody. <laughs> because again, we don't know what our dreams mean. And so you may share it. And I don't want to embarrass you. So it's not really that bad, but I want to, I'll tell you. <laughs> But what if I don't see my dreams at all? Great question. So what about you? Are you woken up with an alarm? Because I can do this a lot of me, Kila Bella. Where's the message? I can't see all that. No. Okay. Then it's this. It's either you had dreams, night terrors as a child. Sis me kuule, et sul oli lapsele teatud suksed kusmaarid, irmu, irmu lennad. And you shut them down when you're a child. Ja siis sa nagu lukustasid selle osa endas. Or, lapsele ma põhjel, you don't value it. Et sa piis olid ei väärtust, kus seda. So therefore you stop remembering dreams. Ja selle võrst seda ei ole seda meile süksul. Every one of us dreams at night. Kõik mõne mõne nagu seda üsid teed. How many of you have done this? Kui olid teist nenu niimoodi? You wake up and you have this dream. Sa ei ole üles, sul ei see mõne nagu. You're like, oh man, that's a good dream. Kus vaus, mida ei mõne nagu. 
then you go pee, you come back to bed, you sit around the bed soup, you have to do the you go to sleep, you sit in the you wake up, and you lose something called dreams gone. Una no se vende. Face to me. Dreams are with, written with disappearing ink. Una no se vende a punto a esto va indica. They're embedded in the short term memory. La de media luya de menos. So when you are woken up by an alarm, you're shocking yourself out of your sleep and therefore you don't remember your dreams. So instead of getting up, I have a pad by my bed and you just write down quickly, I want to know, I was on a horse, I was wearing a shirt, Hair was blown in my wind. That's a soldier's dream. Say the other way, he it Why don't you write down the main facts? Then you go back to sleep. She said, When you wake up, you try to do this. Horse, hair blown in the wind. The whole dream comes back to you. Does that make sense? So we, what I'm doing is I'm teaching 42 hours. We spend an hour on that. Teaching, training. But if you don't value something, and you don't pay, then you don't pay attention to it. You won't remember it. Okay, let's start taking questions. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. are you Indian, blood Indian? <laughs> Native American. Yes, I think I'm Native American. Yeah, I'm wrong. Wrong. Yeah. I just did my DNA test. But I did not this did. I'm from every part of the earth, unfortunately. <laughs> every blood. It was amazing. Yes, sir. Who you are now, and you are not going to be able to do it, but you are going to be able to do it, and you are going to be able to do it. If I hadn't paid attention to dreams and haven't seen them, or haven't seen them but never remember, but now if I start to pay attention, yes. then will the dreams start to come back? Yes. You repent. You put a pad by your, your bed. One of the bed, so let's see. One of the other costly books that was a little bit more than a copy better. Because you're saying to God, I value this. Is it actually the Duma of Baratus and the Dosa? What you write down, you're valuing. Because you don't do this, the Baratus. Even though you may not understand it, he said he was all over this. You're saying I value it. So the Baratus. And then over time, as you start studying, this is. I have videos on my website. My website has tons of videos. 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 What does a cat mean? What do you think a cat means? What do you think a cat means? What do you think a cat means? What? Soft. 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 Cunning. Who? Cunning. 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 The cat is cunning. Nah. Um, this. How many of you guys have ever walked into a room? You're going into a room. But it is the one I get asked to do this set. And the cat's there. Yeah, questions, yeah. And you say, "Oh, with the question, he goes there." And he looks at you. No, the short side. I got here first. Me as in the middle. And he does something. You have to step over. So the question is, "Will I ask them?" God is speaking about your independent thinking. You want to address serious, you know. He's dealing with your independent thinking spirit. They also reference the occult. They can speak of the occult. Because they all, the occult use. What do you think dogs mean? What? Friend, friend, friend. 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 Absolutely, good. Man's best friend. My son called me several years ago. He said, Dad, I had a dream my dog died. My dog Jesse. She's a boxer. 
I said, okay, I know what that means. Mr. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But who? You start looking at all your friends. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just praying. <laughs> Two months later, <laughs> my best friend died. <laughs> So let's talk about death and dreams. That's very important. How many people have dreamed that they died? You had a dream you died? You dreamed you died? You dreamed you died? I haven't seen somebody else. Oh okay, yeah, we'll talk about that. Man, I'm just talking about if you dream you died. Okay. 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 I saw death coming after me. Wanted to take me along, I said, I'm not coming. <laughs> so you just exercised your authority in a dream. <laughs> and you grew an authority. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but if you have a dream that you've died, <laughs> God is basically saying this. <laughs> There's something about to come to an end in your life. Maybe it's an attitude that you have. Maybe you have an issue with anger. God says that's coming to an end. Maybe you have a job. You're getting ready to retire. And your daughter has a dream that she's that you die. This doesn't mean you're going to die. Say that, no, say that's so it means something is coming in into your life. So that, uh, be like you have look for your Does that make sense? We so if you have a dream about seeing somebody else die, be it doesn't mean they're going to die. God's saying something's coming to an end in their life. You want to be like you look at it. Could be a relationship job. And God wants you to be there to help support them yeah, through that make process. Does so, 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 that make sense? Or no, okay. Questions? Christians. Flying. What did it mean in the dream? Good one. Good one. Good one. Yeah. But when you see someone in the dream who is already dead. Aha. Uh -huh. Good one too. Second. Okay. What happened? We see you too. What were they doing? So that's what I'm saying about symbols. And I'm super bit on the It all depends on the context of the dream. So God will never want you to remove your need for the Holy Spirit. Proverbs 25.2 says this. It's the glory of God to conceal a matter. It's the glory of kings to search it out. Many people have come up to me. Giving me a dream. And I say, I don't know. And they go, they're disappointed because I'm the dream guy. But God hides it from me. Right? Because he wants you to search after him. God longs for you to spend time with him. And he gives you a dream so that you would spend time with him. Again, that's why he's removed his hand off the prophetic. The church has gotten a habit to go to the prophets. So what was your significance? Flying. You have the ability to move in the realm of the spirit. So anything in the air, Greek, means Deals with the spirit realm in the in the spirit. Planes represents churches or vocation. Or ministries. Hornets. Demonic attack. Birds. Just, it all depends upon the bird. I want to say this about animals. Watch the animal planet. What the floor? Because what the law was the law was the learn stuff. So we said today. Right? Or Google it. We Google them. So let me ask you, what do you think an elephant means? Build an elephant. Faithful? Powerful? No. Happiness? No. Something big. Okay, yeah. What else? 
For the sake of time, I'll answer. You know what elephants do? They go on a pilgrimage every year. It says that they never forget. Right? Excellent. How do we know they never forget? Has someone asked them a question and a couple years later asked them another question? <laughs> Elephant goes on a pilgrimage every year. And they stroke the bones of the loved ones that they have that have passed on. So God is saying in the dream, did you want to there's some dead things that you're still visiting and you need to get over them. Does that make sense? You see how all this plays together? Octopus. <laughs> Many tentacles. Jezebel. 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 Alright. So if you have a dream that you're an octopus, it's not good. I had a lady. She said I had a dream. And this octopus was on my back. And all the tentacles were coming out like this. You read that uh the bio I said, I'll tell you later. <laughs> it's not a good dream. Huh? 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 Anybody know what that means? For the sake of time, I will explain. I am not for the most of them. Represent peace. Said that you, God is speaking to you that you're trying to find a place of peace, but you can't. On another scenario, it could be sin for women. It can be sin. So we go to the Nice news. Just joking. Hey, <laughs> For my wife, all those shoes she had in her closet, I'm like, that's sin. the middle of the night, I told her, I'm going to the But what does the gospel say? I'm going to the full armors. But I said, I'm going to say, I'm going to Shot your feet with what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm going to say, I'm going to Peace of the gospel. So that's what we get to to represent peace. You're trying to find peace, but you can't. Ask the Lord to help you. But see the dead man. Seeing the dead man who is already dead, he asked earlier. But let me just say this. There's more to the cloud of witnesses than we realize. On rohkem kui lihtsalt see tunnistate pilv ja mina ma olen sellest aru saanud, mida pilv räägi eelne kirjas. So it depends upon the person. Nii et see sõltub sellest isikus, keda sa nägid. What their function is, if it's a parent. On see, et see lapse vanem. Or grandparent. Või kui lapse vanem vanem. It could be wanting to pass generational blessings. See on ju pidata teatud põlvkondikule õnnistustele. If it's John Paul. Näiteks John Paul. It could be a prophetic word. Siis see võib olla prophetik sõna. So it all depends on the person. Question in the back. Yeah, so it is that because on the other side of the road, there You 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 clothed in very precious clothing, and you drive. And see now, see the doctor. Uh, and the, 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 the car, I mean the car, and uh, it's a very well-known ministry, minister driving. Yes, you know, I'm clothed in very nice clothes, and, and 
in that car I'm driving. She's driving it. And uh, no, no. Que soy la con quién Minister, Minister, who is training is a very great minister. What is he doing? 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 Okay. But then I'm quite often that's I I that's me I I've seen so many times that's a that's a really same dream. What makes it more normal? It's the world. But I'm changing the clothes. I am not quite the real. It's the same places. I'm changing the clothes. I'm observing different voices. There are several voices. So you've had this dream over a series of years? Yes. Yeah, there are different times. Quite many years already. Yeah, we have been talking about this. So your clothing represents your anointing. So you read the stuff that's listed as the witness or your mantles. So no matter. Okay, this minister. So you want to show me? It's the Lord. So listen. And he's trying to teach you about faith. The real story that we're supposed to see. That's what he's talking to you about. Because we have to realize this. If Jesus would appear to most of us in a dream, we would wake up. If we saw angels in a dream, most of us would wake up. If we saw demons in a dream, we always wake up. So for the Lord, because he's trying to get a message to you and trying to communicate to us. He often comes as our pastor. He comes as our father. He comes as a friend. There's many different ways that he comes to us. If you have dreams of people in your dreams that you don't know who they are, they're faceless. Now, dude. Then they're angels. She's never going to leave it. But if it's tripping you when you go by, if it's if it's if their function is negative towards you, I go gui, so then this middle line, they are not. I go say, you know, I'm not pissed about sin. They're typically demons. She's not thinking about the most demons. Okay. Typically, women in uh, represent the church. Tihti nice nas mulle nous seisin ta puudus. So when I have a dream about my wife. I have to ask so many questions. So I'm going to ask you. Is this literal in my wife? Does she represent the bride of Christ? Or is she the Holy Spirit? So I asked the Lord about that. When I have a dream about my brother, does this represent my brother? Or does this represent my brothers who are in Christ? We always bend in Christus. So we have to pay attention to people in dreams. As you grow and mature, with the cosmic, it took me about five, six years. So it is more than just five, six years. Once I took John Paul's class, I went into the messy bit and repented. Made by the Lord. God started speaking to me in dreams. You want to come to me and pray? Come on, let's. That the first angel I ever saw, he said, "Is the angel going to be a thing?" I didn't wake up. My head was this, but I froze. I didn't even move. My knee could break us. Over time, the Lord began. You start learning how to interact. She saw me start with a suhead with the angel, India, and cooperate with it. Yeah, then I lost it. Okay. We start. Does that make sense? Are you sure? Yes, sir. Show me your shoes. Last question, because it's nine o'clock. May not be able to get the taste of it. The the auto call is saying they are. I've been in, in the like um, learning to drive in the school and learning how to drive forward and backward. In the dream. In the dream. Okay. Right. See, you see, in what the film said, it's a bit just doing the double tap to find a new job. So, cars represent your ministry or your vocation. Auto tihti esindas on tennis tus pisin verovut. So, let's say tomorrow night, what if we don't have to? You have a dream that you're in a big old Hummer. 
and you're driving through the mud. God is saying to you this. Your ministry is going to go through a difficult season. But I have equipped you to make it. Now you're driving through that same mud path. And you're in one of these little smart cars. It means that you're not equipped to go through that situation. Does that make sense? I have a question. Can I say it? Okay. Uh, the dreamers, a particular situation, a difficult situation. <laughs> And then a word comes from God. It kind of explodes inside of you. And it brings a solution. When you, when you wake up, should I then continue praying for that particular problem I saw in the dream? Or when in the dream a solution came to that problem means that it is solved. The word came from God, it kind of like was the solution for it. <coughs> That's called the word of knowledge in a dream. So it means as it is in heaven, it will be done on earth. So sometimes we get solutions. It's already done in heaven. The decisions are already been made. But it may take 15 months to two years for that to play out. Or it can happen instantaneously. There's no fast rules to a dream interpretation. I still have dreams that are 20 years old. I Okay, so let me pray for you. So Lord, I just thank you, Father, for this time. Lord, I just ask, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would move on everybody right now. That all that's on me right now, Lord, all that's been given to me in the area of dreams and visions and understanding, I release to them now in the name of Jesus. I pray that God would open up the night season for you tonight. That you would have dreams and visions and visitations. Not only for you, but for your whole household. Your children. Your grandchildren. Your family members. Your neighbors. Your neighbors. They all start to be and I just release the anointing of God on you. In the name of Jesus. Jesus in name. Amen. 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 Thank you. And I just want to say this. There's no way that I can interpret all your dreams tonight. <laughs> I, I wish I could. I just pray for you. Go after the Lord. Okay? Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 Amen.